Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. Uh, this is a production of YouTube channel LearnRama and the Facebook page Awesome C Programming Tutorials in High Dev. If you haven't subscribed to those channels, uh, this channel, uh, I would recommend that you do so. And if you haven't become the fan of the Facebook page, I would recommend that you do so as well. Um, and uh, I would also uh, appreciate if you could send me, uh, if you, you know, put some comments out there to give me some feedback as to how you're liking those tutorials or not liking the tutorials. Uh, and I also thank everyone who has actually left their comments appreciating uh, th uh, these tutorials. Uh, I really um, get my encouragement from, from those, uh, those comments and, you know, makes me, you know, gives me an incentive to continue to uh, post the tutorials uh, anyway so well I almost finished the uh, the the previous tutorial um, this topic in the previous tutorial but you know it, I just finished very abruptly and I thought that I did not do a very good justice to to the second method of passing uh, arrays uh, to uh, as a parameter to function so uh, real quick I'll basically cover this in this in this tutorial okay it's gonna be a very short video so what we are going to what we are do, what we were seeing is basically you could basically declare f um, pointers in in the uh, in the parameters list or you know argument list in this function you and then you could pass the entire array as well and I was basically showing before and let me draw it on the on <coughs> on here before I lose it one more time um, so so what we are saying is basically days now is a pointer not the array itself okay so instead of the whole array days is actually just a pointer okay and this is how we represent a pointer right and when this function is called we basically pass the address of this array and days to this pointer so this pointer gets the value of uh, of this address and remember the name of the array is actually an address itself so this guy gets gets the value of this the address or the first location of this array so it actually ends up in pointing to that array okay like something like this okay this is our end days array this array and it has all those elements all those 12 elements here and this days this pointer days is now pointing to the first element here okay and we learned when we were read and studying about pointers before you know f not with the with the context of functions we're just studying about pointers before that you could access pointers uh, you could basically assign a pointer to an array or, or the uh, assign an address make a pointer point to the beginning of the array and then use that pointer just like you would use an array so you could have an index like this and you could do that also so this will basically make it point here first and as the value of index changes from 0 1 2 3 4 it will basically keep on moving this pointer to point here and then to here and then to here and so on okay and you will be accessing those elements here and storing s summing it up the other way of of accessing the elements pointed to by a pointer is basically using a notation like this where you actually add the index to the address pointed to by this uh, the pointer itself so the pointer remains at the same location it basically remains pointed here but the offset this index keeps on getting incremented you know keeps on getting added into days and you end up in accessing this element and then this element and then this element and so on to this element and so this is also another way of accessing an array and as you know using pointer and we learned about this you know we briefly talked about this in the in the previous tutorial when we were talking about the uh, pointers if you haven't watched that tutorial please do so uh, and you know if you just want to revise it you should do that also okay and this whole thing is perfectly okay and this whole thing should result in the same result as before so let's let's real quick try it out so I'm compiling I run it 
this program compiles fine and it runs and it results in 365 days so all this is perfectly okay and normal so okay. so i'm going to com conclude this i mean i'm sorry this this tutorial has become pretty long it has it is now on two, on four different parts uh which is pretty pretty long uh four or five actually five five parts yes um Anyway, uh, as always, I really appreciate if you have any comments or any question or something that you want to ask me. I'll try to answer those questions. Uh, please feel free to uh, leave the comments in the in the in the video pages on on uh, on YouTube or on the on Facebook if you want to. Um, thank you so much.